this little dude, the Ecobee Smart Camera. Everybody was really excited about it when it came out. Made by a brand very popular in the smart home world, Ecobee. It had HomeKit compatibility, HomeKit secure video, but I feel like it's just not talked about like other cameras. Why is that? So we're going to find out. We're going to unbox it, we're going to set it up, and I'm going to give you my thoughts. So let's get started. What up everybody, it's George Langebeer with Silver Hammer Surveillance. Here on the channel we talk tech and we talk security. Today we're talking about something that's kind of both. We're talking about the Ecobee Smart Camera. And if you've watched the channel, you know I'm a big Apple HomeKit fan. What is Apple HomeKit? It's Apple Smart Home Platform, where you can put all your devices and control them with your cell phone, your tablet, your Mac, Apple TV, and HomePod. And now Apple has what's called HomeKit Secure Video, which is their video camera service. And basically you can take different cameras from different manufacturers, make them HomeKit Secure Video cameras, and then they basically become Apple cameras. So when this first came out, everybody was really excited about it because it was going to have HomeKit support. It was going to have HomeKit Secure Video support. And there are several different cameras that have come out since then, but they all came around the same time as this. And uh, I feel like everybody's talking about the other cameras, but not this one. So we're going to unbox it, set it up, and kind of check it out and kind of investigate why that might be. I know I love Ecobee, Ecobee, whatever you want to say. I love their thermostat. We've got it here at the shop. We've got it here at, or there in our apartment. Go check out our smart home tour that we just did of our apartment. Um, but uh, so I, I like their products very much. And um, let's see what we got in here. So I know everybody was very interested in the design when it came out. So it's got a magnet mount. Um, Full disclosure, I have used one of these before, but we're gonna we're gonna go fresh and new here. Um, but that that magnet mount just plugs into the bottom of it. Then you got your lens, and you've got your night vision. You've got your HomeKit code on the back with your speaker, and that's that. <clears throat> Some documentation and power cord. And that's it. And then you do have some mounting hardware. But let's go ahead and we're going to go over and plug this in and set it up and see how it works. And see if it's worthy of 2022 HomeKit Secure Video or not. All right, let's go set it up. Okay, so now we've gone ahead and plugged the power cable into the wall. And then we're uh, going to plug it in there, in the bottom there. With your mount, you got two options. You can either do... Um, table or furniture mount, put that in the bottom. That's a pretty good magnet. You got to kind of pull it out and then you can put it in the back. And that's where you'd want to do a wall mount. And it's just got one screw, so it's nice and easy to mount that. And then it goes left and right and up and down. Now, my only complaint about this camera, again, I've used this before, um, is really just kind of how much that articulates. It's not that much of an angle, whereas a lot of cameras have a little bit more. But if you're just trying to go straight on and you don't need to go up and down too much, it's kind of got more up and down than it does left and right. Um, but that's my only complaint. Um, otherwise, it looks really cool. It's a good looking camera. Um, but let's go ahead and add it to the app and kind of show you the functionality. Again, my take here is kind of just why is this not a more popular camera? I think it's got some great features. I'm going to set it up and kind of let me know your opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, again, it was a really anticipated camera. So here I am in the Ecobee app. I'm going to go to um, add a device, make sure I'm on the right home here, and uh, I am. I'm going to select camera. Basically, it's just telling you you should have your Wi-Fi information ready to go, and you should have it plugged into a power outlet. There was some protective film on here that we obviously removed. We are good to go. There it is. It's listed in the uh, devices to add. We're going to hit that. And then we can continue with Ecobee, or we can uh, use the home uh app to set it up, which is going to put it in a home kit right away. I'm going to use the home kit app to do that. So I'm going to select this home and I'm going to scan that code on the back. Home kit code. There we go. Add it to the home. Successfully connected to Wi-Fi network. You got good old A-L-E-X-A on board on this thing. So she just told us we're good. As far as the Wi-Fi goes. Still connecting in HomeKit. Okay, there we go. I'm going to just call this our entryway camera in HomeKit. Uh, we've got several cameras here, but just for demonstration, 
I'm going to leave the name alone, but there you can go ahead and name the camera. I'm going to set my recording options. Um, so if you're familiar with HomeKit Secure Video, you've got several options here. And I'm going to do stream and allow recording, both home and away. All right. So we are now in HomeKit. Now it's going to take us back to the Ecobee app. And it's going to ask us if we want to use this as a security camera or baby monitor. It could be a great baby monitor because uh, if it just sits on a, a counter or a dresser or whatever it is, it's got that audio so you could talk to your baby or hear if the baby's crying, that kind of thing. We're going to use it as a security camera, though. And then it's going to ask me where I want it. I'm just going to call this the foyer. I'm going to save the name. Again, so we initially set it up in HomeKit, but now we're actually setting it up in the Ecobee app. Some HomeKit secure video cameras still use the native app um, and the home app, and some just go straight to the Apple home app. So you just kind of got to know which camera you have on your hands. This one does both. All right, so window mode. Window mode, basically, you can put these things in a window. Just keep in mind that sometimes when you're mounting a window, you've got that reflection certain times of the day, and that reflection will kind of screw up your camera shot. So a lot of cameras have this, like, this window mode that kind of combats that. So this it's cool that this has it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit do not use window mode because this is not going to be in a window. But if you were going to put it in a window, go ahead and enable, enable that. It's going to ask me if I want notifications. It says that they need to uh, update the camera. So we're going to update it real quick. And we'll be actually no need to go away because it just updated it right already. So that's pretty quick. Here it's going to talk about the different options as far as their um, monitoring plan. Now, if you, you pair this with a door and window sensor that they sell, um, you've already got uh, humidity and temperature sensors with Ecobee, you've got your thermostat, but basically you can create this into a full-blown security system. Uh, you can get the 24-7 professional monitoring, which is cool, um, get data directly monitored to 911. So for all the people out there that think you can't have a security system in a camera, they are incorrect. 30-day um, storage in addition, so that would be separate from the iCloud storage, so you don't have to do this because in HomeKit Secure Video, if you've got the upgraded iCloud plan, you get your recording built right in, but this is giving the additional option. Smart motion and entry alerts. So again, paired with your sensors, you can do all sorts of automation security-wise with this. And then smoke alarm detection, which is also cool. So if there's a smoke alarm that goes off in your house, this will notify you in addition to the smoke alarm as well. So if you've got a smoke alarm that doesn't, it's not a, smoke, a smart smoke alarm, this will notify you when you're not home. All right, so then you can also pause heating and cooling when the doors or windows are open, which is cool. So it's an instant way to save you money. Anyway, I'm going to hit not right now after all that um, because I'm going to use HomeKit Secure Video. All right, so I can either add another device or show me my camera. All right, so we're going to kind of separate this from the Ecobee app to the HomeKit app. Um, but here's the Ecobee. And so here's where I can, if I hit the pan, I can pan and tilt and uh, move the camera around. Go up and down. And also down here below, you can actually, it's actually pan, tilt, and zoom. Uh, I can zoom in. I can zoom out. All right, so we can pan and tilt. And then if I exit it out of that, uh, let's see what else we got here. We can take a snapshot, so we can take an instant picture of what's going on. I can talk if I want to. I can press that record function if I am paying for that record option. And then if I want to, I can also play a siren. So this has a siren, um, much like some cameras do now. Like I said, uh, a lot of ways a camera can replace an old school burglar alarm. Go back and watch my old video on that because it ruffled some feathers, but by God, you can use a camera for a burglar alarm. And anyway, all right, so then you can also view your history if, you were, if you're paying for that service. Um, so that's that. Then if you back out to your home screen where you've got your thermostat and any other devices you have, three could be um, down below. You've got your home button that takes you to this um, kind of home view. Autopilot. So if you go to autopilot, um, that's where it knows if you're home and you're not. So you can set up different automations for when you're home and when you leave, it'll do different things. So that's what autopilot is. And you can also do that through the home app, which we're going to talk about in a second. Activities, you can see all your different activities, uh, whether it's monitoring on your security system or motion on the camera. Then with Ecobee, you can also set up different uh, routines for when you're on vacation. And that could be the temperature, what the camera does, so on and so forth. But well, that's kind of the Ecobee app. So on our next video, again, we're going to kind of do a deep dive into HomeKit Secure Video. And when we do that, we're going to kind of talk about 
some of the reasons you know you might want to buy this camera or that camera because when it's in HomeKit Secure Video, there's not many different options. They all kind of are treated the same. So no matter what brand you buy, they're all they all work pretty much exactly the same. But when you've got a native app like this, like in the Ecobee app, um, you've got different options you can do. So you've got kind of the best of both worlds. So anyway, check out that video. It's coming up next. And um, we'll kind of kind of give you a guide on why you want to buy, might want to buy this one or that one. But in general, today we're just talking about this one. And is it a viable option in 2022? All right, moving on to the home app. All my devices here at Silver Hammer. And there's that camera listed first. So again, this is just like any other HomeKit Secure video. Once you've got it in here, they all work exactly the same. So you've got your uh, your events down below, which can be people, vehicles, animals, and packages. Um, so you can kind of scroll through your timeline. Uh, you got your live image there, obviously at the top. You can kind of change dates. And if you're using that updated, or I'm sorry, upgraded iCloud storage, there's no additional fee to this as far as the recording goes. I can zoom in with my finger, but it's not as good a zoom as it is on that plus and minus on the Ecobee app. All right, then we got our normal settings where we can name the camera, what room it's in, the other accessories that we got paired to it. You can kind of set up different automations. That's where you can set in your notifications. Um, if you do activity notifications, you can be alerted when you're home or just when you're away or both. You can Determine if you want people, animals, vehicles, and packages, all the above, or just one or the other. Um, you can be alerted for all sorts of different things. You can go into facial recognition. Here's where all your faces will be listed if you've gone in and named your um, family and friends in Apple Photos. It'll recognize all those people by name. But those are, you know, like I said, the exact same features as any other HomeKit Secure video camera. So basically the bottom line is, you know, do you like the Ecobee functions? I mean, as, as far as HomeKit Secure video cameras, it works just like the rest. So I'm just not sure why people aren't talking about it anymore. But um, I think it's pretty cool looking. I like that it's wall mountable or just goes on a piece of furniture. Um, Ecobee uh, products are very, you know, it's very sturdy and very well made. And you can feel that just like the thermostat. So I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Um, you've kind of got an overview. Very easy to set up. Features are great in the Ecobee app. So let me know what you think. I just kind of wanted to bring this bad boy back in the in the conversation. Um, check out our next video on the HomeKit Secure Video Buyer's Guide. We're going to do a deep dive and you know what you want to look for when you buy one of these. But anyway, hopefully you like this video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel where we talk tech and security. Um, check out our next video upcoming on HomeKit Secure Video. Hit that bell notification when you do subscribe so you're notified of our next video. Until that one, peace and love.